In the annals of American sports history, few names resonate as powerfully as Orenthal James Simpson, better known as O.J. Simpson. From his humble beginnings to his meteoric rise in the world of professional football, Simpson's journey is one of triumph, tragedy, and controversy. He passed away at the age of 76 after a battle with cancer. O.J. Simpson is a former American football running back and actor who rose to fame in the 1960s and 70s. He won the Heisman Trophy and the NFL Most Valuable Player Award while playing for the Buffalo Bills and was later inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He is also recognized for his involvement in the controversial murder trial of his ex-wife. In this video, we are going to learn some facts about O.J. Simpson that very few people knew. Let's start. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, and those who are already subscribed, love you. Orenthal James Simpson was born in San Francisco, California on July 9, 1947. His mother, Eunice Durden, was an orderly at a psychiatric ward, and his father, Jimmy Lee Simpson, worked as a custodian for a Federal Reserve Bank. Simpson's journey began in the world of sports. He played college football for the USC Trojans, where he achieved remarkable success. As a senior, he clinched the prestigious Heisman Trophy. In the 1969 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills selected him as the first overall pick. Over his nine seasons with the Bills, Simpson garnered five consecutive Pro Bowl and first-team All-Pro selections from 1972 to 1976. His prowess on the field solidified his status as one of the greatest running backs of all time. However, Simpson's professional achievements were marred by the 1994 murder trial involving his former wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend Ron Goldman. Despite the controversial acquittal, the case remains etched in history. Beyond football, Simpson's life took tumultuous turns, including convictions for armed robbery and kidnapping. Simpson attended Galileo High School in San Francisco, California. Unfortunately, his troubled youth, coupled with poor grades and violent behavior, prevented him from earning any college scholarship offers during this time. After high school, Simpson attended San Francisco City College from 1965 to 1966 to improve his academic standing. His impressive performance on the football field caught the attention of recruiters. As a result, he earned a scholarship to the University of Southern California. At USC, Simpson excelled, earning accolades such as being named All-American in 1967 and 1968. Simpson's football journey continued in the National Football League. He played primarily for the Buffalo Bills during his 11-season NFL career. As a running back, he achieved remarkable success, earning five consecutive Pro Bowl selections and first-team All-Pro honors from 1972 to 1976. His rushing yards and touchdowns made him one of the greatest running backs of all time. O.J. Simpson led a life that was both illustrious and marred by controversy. Let's dive into the various facets of his journey. Marriage and family. Simpson married his high school sweetheart, Marguerite L. Whitley, on June 24, 1967. At the time, he was just 19 years old and a freshman at the University of Southern California. The couple had three children, Arnell, born in 1968. Jason was born in 1970. Aaron was born in 1979. Nicole Brown Simpson was the second wife of O.J. Simpson. Their relationship began in the late 1970s when Nicole was still a teenager. They married in 1985, five years after Simpson had retired from professional football. Their marriage lasted seven years, and they had a daughter named Sidney Brooks Simpson, born in 1985, and a son named Justin Ryan Simpson, born in 1988. However, their relationship was tumultuous and at times abusive. Nicole was emotionally, verbally, and physically abused by Simpson. She filed for divorce in 1992, citing irreconcilable differences. Unfortunately, even after the divorce, Nicole continued to be abused by Simpson. Tragically, on June 12, 1994, Nicole was murdered outside her home in Los Angeles, California, along with her friend waiter Ron Goldman. Simpson was charged with their murders. Following a controversial and highly publicized criminal trial, 
Simpson was acquitted of both charges of murder, despite forensic and eyewitness evidence supporting the prosecution's case. Nicole Brown Simpson's life was marked by both fame and tragedy, leaving an indelible impact on history. The subsequent trial became a media sensation, and Simpson's acquittal remains one of the most controversial legal outcomes in history. Despite the legal turmoil, Simpson expressed contentment in his later years. In 2019, he stated that he was happy and healthy, living in Las Vegas, playing golf almost daily, and maintaining connections with his children. Simpson gained fame as a remarkable football player during his time with the Buffalo Bills in the NFL. His impressive speed and ability to score touchdowns made him a household name. In 1969, he signed a five-year contract worth $650,000, which was substantial at the time. At the peak of his career, his net worth reached $10.8 million. In 1994, everything changed when Nicole Brown Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman were found murdered. O.J. Simpson was charged with the crimes, leading to a sensational trial. Despite his acquittal in the criminal case, he was found liable for wrongful deaths in a civil lawsuit. The resulting judgment amounted to $33.5 million owed to the victim's families. As of April 2024, O.J. Simpson's net worth stands at approximately $3 million. O.J. Simpson's net worth has dwindled considerably due to legal battles and personal controversies. Beyond football, Simpson ventured into acting during his playing days. He appeared in hit movies and TV series, including the iconic miniseries Roots. His Hertz car rental commercials were also wildly popular. After retiring from the NFL in 1979, he focused on acting full-time, starring in the Naked Gun series and The Klansman. O.J. Simpson has resided in various locations throughout his life. Let's explore where he lived, current residence in Las Vegas. After his release from prison in 2017, O.J. Simpson moved into a 5,037-square-foot home in an upscale country club neighborhood in Summerlin, Las Vegas. The residence was built in 2005. Former Brentwood residence, the 6,000-square-foot home was purchased in 1977 for $650,000, lived there for many years before relocating to Miami with his children. The property no longer exists, but it played a significant role in his life during that period. Interestingly, O.J. Simpson's car collection also includes a black Bentley Continental from 2018, in which he was seen driving to a golf course. O.J. Simpson's life was a blend of athletic achievement, legal drama, and personal struggles. His name remains etched in both sports history and the annals of criminal justice. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of the man behind the characters. Join the next video as we uncover more inspiring stories from the entertainment world.